morning. Wow. What an historic day, huh? It's great. Um, yes. So thank you so much for joining us today for the groundbreaking of this extraordinary, transformative new development. I am Lisa Albergini, President of the Planning Office for Urban Affairs. We are the co-developer um, of Harbor Place along with our great friends from the Greater Haverhill Foundation. Before we get started, I wanted to just acknowledge um, some dignitaries who are here with us today. Um, and then, of course, you'll be hearing from the governor and the mayor and the chairman um, and Bob Gallery. Uh, we also have with us here today Secretary Greg Bialecki, who has been instrumental. <laughs> Secretary and his staff have been instrumental in, in making this happen. Senator Kathleen O'Connor Ives, um, <laughs> Rep Representative Linda Dean Campbell, I think, is here. <laughs> Representative Diana DiZoglio, I believe, is with us. I think June Black might be here representing Congresswoman Nikki Songus. June, nice to see you. We also have Katie Ma Kate Mache, I think, from Senator Ed Markey's office. Is Kate here? Thanks so much. We have a great contingent of city councilors who have been terrific, and you'll hear more about that later, and we'll see them this evening. Um, uh, Council President John Mitchinson is here. Now, I'll tell you the rest of these as a group, and if you could all stand up so we can applaud, that would be great. Melinda Barrett, Bill Masick, Tom Sullivan, Thank you. Uh, Bob Scatamaccia, and Colin LePage, all from the City Council. Thank you so much. And, and Mara Ryan, I think Mara is also here, um, from the, thank you, Mara. With the Haverhill School Committee, Paul Magliacetti. <laughs> Joseph Bevilacqua. Uh, here's Mara. Mara Ryan Saradillos. There you are, Mara. Thank you. Sean Tui, I think is here today. And, and finally, the department heads, um, Bill Pillsbury, Chief Yay! Allen. Yay, Bill. Chief Alan DeNaro, been a huge help. And School Superintendent Jim Scully, I think, is also here today. I'm sure, I think that we have the Water Department, Bob Ward, and Mike Skankovich is here, I, I believe, here. And almost done. Uh, representing UMass Lowell today, the Chancellor was unable to be here, but we have DJ Corcoran. I think, DJ, where are you? There it is, DJ, thank you. ADJ. Lane Glenn, president of Northern Essex Community College. I uh, there you are. Thanks so much for being here. And two former state senators are with us. I think Jim DeJuga. I know I saw you over here. And is Senator Bador here? Former Senator Bador. I guess not here today. At any rate, thank you so much. That's always the hardest part, actually, because I know I've forgotten people. Um, Oh, Representative, nice to see you here today, too. Thank you so much. Oh, I, I love to admire our community. So, so, as I said, this is a great day for Haverhill, an historic day, as I mentioned. And we're thrilled to have Governor Patrick here to celebrate it with us. Harbor Place, we have told him and made sure that he knows, and really through the good work of Secretary Bialecki, Harbor Place embodies every part of the governor's vision for gateway cities in the, throughout the Commonwealth. And none of this would happen at all were it not for his tremendous support and commitment. So we're very grateful um, for that governor. In a moment, I will ask Chairman Dempsey to the podium to introduce the governor. But first, a few words about the chairman's leadership. I've said many times that Haverhill is unusually fortunate to have Chairman Dempsey working for all of you day in and day out and through the night, many nights with the budget. Um, well, well, I want you to know you just got a whole lot more fortunate. <laughs> um, 
because it's his hard work, along with the governors and Secretary Bialakis, that is most responsible for um, making this vision a reality. Um, the state has been extraordinary in its commitment, um, and certainly Chairman Dempsey has been at the very um, heart of that. I did say this is an historic day. The city of Haverhill, we were telling the governor early, has waited nearly five decades for today since the Woolworth building was closed. And while I don't know if Chairman Dempsey was even born then, or barely born, maybe, um, I do know that every minute of his life in public life, his, or in public office, has led up to this achievement and to many others for the city of Haverhill. This is indeed historic. We are reclaiming the river, bringing commerce back to downtown, and providing educational, residential, retail, and recreational opportunities. Chairman Dempsey has been absolutely instrumental to making this happen. We cannot thank you enough for your tremendous role, for your leadership, commitment, persever perseverance, guidance, and perhaps most importantly, your great sense of humor and humility throughout. You are very fortunate to have Chairman Dempsey, and so are we. Please join me in welcoming.